At the heart of every building is a story, a story of why it came about, how it's constructed, and what makes it memorable. Often though, the most unique quality is not in its construction or design, but the memories fused into its structure. The new community and senior center designed by civic specialists at LPA in Laguna Beach is such a story. This uh, senior center is named after my mother-in-law, Elizabeth Howe Quilter, who for many years was known or wrote a community column called The Diary of Susie Q. The or origination of that name is pretty cool. Back in the 30s, after she had graduated from Smith College, she went to write as a correspondent for the Greenwich Time. In those days, women did not do serious news, so she was relegated to the society column. The big dance of the era was the Susie Q, and thus was born the Diary of Susie Q. Later, of course, she married a quilter, and life plays funny tricks, and she became Susie Q. Located at the edge of downtown Laguna Beach, the 8,200 square foot Suzy Q Senior Center and 8,000 square foot community center sits atop subterranean parking and provides residents, both young and old, the opportunity to enjoy meetings, classes, clubs, and space for gatherings of all kinds. I think probably most importantly when, you, when I look back at this entire experience has been the people. Um, the commitment of the city council, the commitment of the quilters in terms of making this a place that would really be something special to remember their mom by. Um, the fact that I look back and on the foundation wall is even my own dad's name because this is the last project that he was able to see of mine. So it's a building with amazing sentiment to me and I'm um, just so glad that we had the opportunity to provide such a wonderful space. Um, and to see it used this way by the people of the community is really an honor. Lending to a more environmentally responsible approach, designers creatively employed a number of sustainable design strategies. Natural daylight and ventilation permeate the facility, cutting down energy costs and providing a more inviting interior. Throughout the center, architectural features and materials reinforce the building's approach to green design. The Swinerton Builders took on this project with Griffin Structures and LPA as the uh, architect. And uh, the challenging part about it is that the, the project is not a commercial job as well as it's very custom. It has a lot of custom products in it, uh, uh, a lot of lead products, which is a lot of recycled material. We use bamboo cabinets and we have uh, cedar trellises on the outside, a lot of stonework. So it's a, actually a custom product that was built in a commercial environment. An innovative blend of time-honored design coupled with modern ideals is used to inspire youthful aspirations and reconnect rich traditions passed down through generations. Uh, welcome to the main hallway and gallery of the facility. This is really the backbone of the facility. This is what connects the two uh, portions of the community, the community and the senior center. A lot of attention was paid to this in an effort to create a space where both generations, the seniors, the youth, and the adults of the community could intermingle. It also is the place that we've tried to demonstrate the aspects of natural light and natural ventilation as much as possible. Uh, you'll see through down the hallway that there is lined with aluminum storefront glazing. And then also on the right hand side, you'll see natural skylights that uh, provide a, a nice kind of illumination on the uh, wall of the facility. Keeping in context with the surrounding area, the center's aesthetics reflect the town's texture, scale, and hillside topography. However, building within the constrained site location proved challenging for designers and the construction team. The project is set into a hillside with the parking structure daylighting at street grade. The plaza level actually daylights at the corner of 3rd Street and Mermaid with the, the third level of the project at grade at the corner of Loma Terrace and Mermaid. Uh, to make that happen, we had to uh, put in an extensive shoring system, and there's over a mile of caisson supporting the project due to the fact that it's sitting on groundwater. So to get over all those hurdles and get to a design that we could actually get to construction was a very large task. When you look at the amount of topography that we had, over 50 feet of fall in the site, and how to build in spaces that were just beautiful, where people could celebrate and laugh, and 
and get to know each other better um, was a huge uh, idea of or premise behind the entire project. And I think that probably one of the key things was coming up with the idea of these cottages that sat up here on the upper terrace and that they were the main meeting spaces. So the city has one and the seniors have their lounge and they really maintain the scale and the intimacy of the village of Laguna. A perfect fit, a warm and welcoming place in the heart of town. When you're able to be involved in something that brings joy to the public, that's payment in full and that's really what what we at LPA like to do, create spaces and places that enrich the lives of those that use us.